So I know what was the kind of people who were there during my time and now what is the new kind of crop of uh, girls and boys coming into the service. All of them are products of a process. You study and then you go to any coaching institute and they make you uh, study whatever uh, you opt for and then they press, press, press and mold you to that and the answers are the same, the response is the same, dress is the same. If you want to ask yourself the question, what do I want to do? Look inside you and accept your faults. Try and change them because only you can change them. You can hide your faults from others. But you can't hide it from yourself. Keep looking at yourself. And I would think one of the greatest things we take away from this country is the power of meditation. In, in our history, in, our, in, in the depth of our knowledge, meditation has always been given a special place. I was told uh, mo most of the people who will be attending this mo morning would be people who wanting to appear for UPSC exams. Is that right? And that's not what he said. Ah, that's why I'm asking. Anyway, it doesn't we, matter we, why you have come. Just ask us anything you want. Because I thought anything they will ask in the evening. So <laughs> morning was a focused one. So if you are going to do anything, most welcome. First question somebody should ask so that the other questions will follow. Uh, if we see most of the people in uh, in the UPSC, so in the, in the services which we see are people who pass out from premier institutes like IIT and IIMs and they join and even for uh, services we have people who join from IITs. So what would be your message to the students who are aspiring to join uh, uh, services in particular? and uh, looking at them as future leaders of the country because I'm sure with your experience and your exposure, you have seen a uh, lot many things, good, bad, ugly, both I would say. Uh, so in both that aspects, if you can give a little, uh, I would say thought to the students who are here. Okay. So uh, good morning uh, friends. I have, uh, I, I cleared the UPSC exam in the year 1975. And uh, before that, I was uh, teaching economics at the University of Madras. And I um, perhaps would qualify as a village uh, a rural uh, candidate. Uh, that, there was no, uh, no division like that, but then I am classifying myself. So um, that time, uh, I used to come from uh, Kwaimathur every for every exam, go back and teach. So I cleared the UPSC exam in the first attempt. So that time maybe 6 lakhs of uh, youngsters appeared. I was one of those 300 people. Well, uh, the recruitment used to be 35, 40 only in the IAS, IFS and IPS that time. Uh, so now it is 250 to 200 in each service because they have a lot of vacancies and uh, they want to fill up and things like that. So uh, this is about the exam. Uh, nobody asked, uh, he didn't ask me about the exam so I am not going to that. Systems have changed a lot. But I would like to say that UPSC is one of the most non-corrupt institutions I can ever visualize in the country. So guaranteed that if you are a uh, meritorious student and you give full, full attention to what you are doing and appear, you would definitely stand a chance like I did. First attempt, UPSC, Ogya and without any coaching, without any internet, without any encyclopedia, without having any access to anything, only college, library, whatever is that. So definitely you stand a big chance. Pranav said the number of children who are joining are, uh, I go to the National Police Academy for delivering lectures every year and uh, from 1998 to now, 60, 65% of the IPS officers are from the uh, BTEC, uh, IIT, IIM and things like that. So 65%, why they join, what is their motive, oh, that's a different matter. But I, I have been also working in the UPSC in the uh, interview board. As in, since I, I retired as the Director General of Police of Maharashtra, they need a minimum qualification of uh, having retired as the Director General of Police. I qualify, so I go there. So I know what was the kind of people who were there during my time and now what is the new kind of crop of uh, girls and boys coming into the service, what is their aspiration. So put, to put it to you frankly, all of them are products of a process. You study and then you go to any coaching institute 
and they make you uh, study whatever uh, you opt for and then they press, press, press and mold you to that and the answers are the same, the response is the same, dress is the same, wear a blue shirt, wear a black trousers and the polished shoes may come in sir, can I sit sir, uh, good morning to you sir, madam, like that. They are all the same type of people. So this is uh, become an industry like you know quota, uh, JE, NEET and things like that. This also UPSC in Delhi, by and large this industry works very uh, frantically in Delhi. Of course other places also, Chennai, Hyderabad, Rao study circle and so many study circles. The other point I want to make is, if you see the first page uh, from the ever since the results came, Indian Express, Times of India, full page thing comes. All those children who come as number one, number two, number three are girls. And if you go a little deep into that, they are people who have attempted four times, five times. And not that they failed, many of them could have passed also, pass means selected, not pass fail to high selected, but then they are doing better and better. Okay, you got into police and you want to get into IAS. So there is a girl called Uma Harthi. It's coming every day, you see third, number three, she stood uh, third, fourth or fifth attempt and her father is only a head constable in the Andhra Pradesh or Telangana police. So look at the background, look at the people, look at the kind of education she would have had and look at the ambition. What I am trying to tell you is the scope is plenty, the, per, the percentage of you getting selected is very, very high. But what Ashutosh was traveling with me yesterday, I said if you want to become a UPSC candidate, then don't join Mumbai as a management trainee and then try this also. It does not just happen. It has to happen when you give full time attention. Go through that, go to a counselor, even before you join the uh, academy or coaching center, they have a counseling session. They ask you what is your capability, what is your core competence, find, help you. These are all the subjects, this is what you should do and things like that. It is not that everyone will get everything which they have studied in the college. So you have to take some things which are not uh, known to you like sociology, history and things like that. I did economics, so I can put only uh, at that time three compulsory papers like uh, 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 English, general knowledge and uh, essay and then three lower papers and two higher papers. Now the system has changed. So then I could get only one economics in the lower out of three and one in the higher. That is it. All other subjects I had to select something which I did not know. So this is what will happen to you. Of course, pure uh, physics and uh, this uh, uh, lady uh, uh, would uh, get 100 out of 100 in her uh, chosen subject, physics, she is a doctorate, PhD in uh, physics. But then what happens to the other things? So that is how it is. I also would like to tell as an anecdote, one of my batchmates called Bolanath, he was a research scholar in mathematics and obviously science, and, so everywhere he got 100 out of 100, but in his personality he got only 10 percent, personality means interview. He got only 10 percent. He was absolutely, uh, I mean, uh, normally no hope, but then he made it because the total merit method, he got 100 out of 100 in mathematics because he was a PhD scholar. So like that, the chances of winning is very, very, very high. Of course, whether you fit into that, the culture suits you, how do you survive and all is your own uh, choice and uh, destiny. So this is how, so Pranav also asked, what is it you want as DGP? of the state, I want my young people to have two characteristics. One is you be honest. That is a rare thing now. I want to tell you it is a rare thing. IIT, IIM ho, ya koi bhi ho, the, 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 the rule is 99 percent of the officers are corrupt. There is 1 percent of them who are non-corrupt. I worked in the CBI as joint director for three years. Rajasthan, Gujarat, Goa, Maharashtra was with me and I have arrested so many of them from the UPSC selection and at the higher levels, MD, Air India kind of people. So this is the situation. So what do we want as DGP? And um, this is either you be uh, honest and also you have to take hard decisions. Unfortunately, what we find is honest people don't take this, don't take decisions because they don't want anything. Lagna nahi chahiye, dag nahi lagna chahiye. You know, then the uh, most efficient people are most uh, dishonest because they take a risk, they take decisions, they take money and then what, jayega, jo hota hai, baat mein jayega. whatever happens, I will either 
sort it out uh, politically or I can go to the court and engage uh, Harish uh, Salve and get uh, become a winner. So what I will expect Pranav, you, I am answering your question, is that we need people who are honest and we need people who will take decisions also besides being honest. If you ask me what is great about being honest, everyone is supposed to be honest. Nothing great about you. We don't need to make a statue because he is the most honest fellow I have ever seen. Nothing. It is part of the deal. You have to be honest. If you are not, anti-corruption agencies are supposed to chase you. But they are tired. How many people are they going to catch? You see, there is a lady in uh, Jharkhand, uh, Puja, Puja, Puja Singhal or some such name. 38 crores or maybe more and cash, in cash. Besides that, all other things apart. I am sure you can Google search and find out. G? No, no, IAS. IAS. And then there was also a couple, IAS couple called Joshi in Madhya Pradesh. So they also 216 crores recovered. So these are examples. You can say, oh, these are one off. No, I am telling you it is not one off. It has become a rule. Exceptions are those people who are relegated to the background who are not given top posts. For example, as on today, uh, in the state of Maharashtra, everything is for the asking. What is it you do? Your, since you are recording, I am jumping beyond the limit. So, I, I can now tone down and say that everything is purchased, all posts. If you are an honest man, if you do not do that, you do not get into those uh, uh, decision making powerful executive jobs. Okay? No, 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 let it be there. I will be I will I'll speak very carefully. I am speaking the truth. Okay, I can be prosecuted also, no problem. As long as it is only prosecution, I do not mind. So, so that is the uh, uh, ground reality. Now, we expect IIT people to come with that kind of a um, uh, background and uh, um, minimum, uh, minimum uh, expectations to be met is this. And I want to tell you, if you are honest and a decision maker, you will stand out in any crowd. Every time when things went wrong, they used to look for me. Like for example, organized crime, when it reached its peak, 1940 to 19, 2000, uh, to be eliminated, look for uh, 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 Shivanandan, I eliminated it. 22 years, there is not a single crime of extortion or shooting in Mumbai. It's a record. Then 26-11, I became the commissioner of police after that because the earlier thing was a disaster. Today evening, I will speak about both. I will show you a few pictures. So, the, you, there is a demand. It is not that you are in the garbage uh, dump all the time. You will look for you because a corrupt guy is not going to deliver the result. So, there also he will make money. I spoken enough. Thank you. So, I spent uh, 40 years in the army. I joined the National Defense Academy in Kharakwasla in 1968. And actually, I've been under the shadow of the government from 1968 till 2017, nearly 50 years. And uh, let me just do uh, a broad picture, because the question you're asking and everybody asks at your stage is, what should I become and what should I do to become what I want to become? Because that is the question which troubles everybody. So to answer the question, what should I become? The answer actually lies inside you, it is not outside you. For which you have to discover yourself. You have to understand what you like, what you don't like. And even that is a dynamic process in life you can be honest at the beginning of your service and you can be a terribly corrupt guy somewhere in between. And when we talk about corruption, nobody requires money. Everybody requires more money. You give me a lack of rupees, I would want more. That is human nature. It is nothing abnormal. Human beings and I quote uh, Plato in 300 BC, he writes in the Republic, that we are fundamentally ambitious, greedy, and we only want things which others have. That is our nature. 
the world is what it is because human nature is what has remained constant throughout history. Why it is constant and so on are different issues altogether. But that is why that we first have to accept that is how we are. It is only from that acceptance that you can find out what you want to be. And it's a process you have to face throughout your life. It is not something which stops. It does not, as far as I'm concerned, it does not matter what profession finally you find yourself in. Because let me tell you, there are too many variables over which individuals have no control. And if you think you're in control, you live in a world of illusion. What is in your control is your reaction to things which happen. That is in your control. Your attitude, that is in your control. Because it doesn't matter what you actually do. What, how do you look at what you do and make the best of it is what, the best, what, what your attitude should be. And as you, as, as you grow, the highest, higher level of is when you can think beyond yourself. I mean, somebody said that, I think your deputy director said it yesterday. When you can actually put yourself beyond you. But we know that unless you have certain basic, which you think you're satisfied with, the ability to think for others is very difficult. Not that there are people who have nothing and yet to do a lot for others. Your progress in life has to be estimated. And that's a value system which you have to inculcate not by what you do to yourself. How do you actually make others' lives better? At the core of leadership is this particular attitude. And as you keep rising, and you people are in the, the best institution that this country has, you are not only, uh, your future is so bright, but life will always be something which you can't imagine. And you're going to live in an age in which change in technology itself is overtaking the human ability to comprehend, to even predict the future. It is getting much more uncertain than it ever was. But what remains constant, the thread that weaves all this complete fabric together is human nature. So if you want to ask yourself the question, I karna kya hai? Look inside you. And accept your faults. Try and change them because only you can change them. You can hide your faults from others, but you can't hide it from yourself. And that is not easy because the mind will always rationalize and find a reason when you know it is wrong, but you will find a reason to do it at that time, what we call temptation. So, you know, one of the, this thing about temptation is the best way to deal with temptation is to succumb to it. So the point is, you guys are at in your stage when I can assure you, your world is going to be uncertain. If you're looking for certainty, it is not available. It never was actually. The human being has actually lived in this uncertainty. There is only the degree of uncertainty because the interconnected world is growing because the mass of information hitting your head. And if you think that your thoughts are your own, you are mistaken. Because now the world is so interconnected, what you are being bombarded with and how your mind is being hacked and hijacked by others, you have no idea. In fact, if all those who actually do shopping on Amazon would probably know that they know more about your shopping habits than you know about them. So the point is, while you look at the world outside, keep looking at yourself. And I would think one of the greatest things we take away from this country is the power of meditation. It's a terrific power. Our, in, the, in, in our history, in, our, in, in the depth of our knowledge, meditation has always been given a special place. We are the ones who actually have now taken meditation to the rest of the world. They've been in different forms altogether. And we ourselves, don't indulge. We, we export, but we don't, we don't use it. Because what you can find, the triggering of ideas, the triggering of thoughts, because we are a prisoner of our own thoughts, comes by the ability to actually 
look at yourself. You look at any of the meditation techniques, whatever it is, whether you're feeling about the breath or your thoughts or so on, it's all inside you. It's like those people who think they cannot write. The power of writing is important in leadership because what you leave behind is not what is probably in your lectures or your talks that you give, but in what you write. That will endure through centuries. And I want to tell you that in each one of you is a writer. But let me put it in a broader sense. You know, there is this uh, uh, Russian philosopher, uh, Uspinsky. Uh, he said the human being is actually like in a situation where there is a palace. There are beautifully furnished houses, of our rooms, everything is there. But the human being, unaware of the existence of that, lives in the basement. You have to discover and move yourself out of that basement to those rooms which are in existence. You have to do it yourself. You can't expect anybody else to do it. You have to discover yourself. yourself. Your, it has to be something which you do personally, something in which you spend time in. And don't ever tell yourself that you don't have time. That's the most commonest of excuses. It's easy for you to rationalize not doing something like timely. I mean, that's the easiest thing which comes to us. We will we'll justify it to yourself. You know? uh, I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not boasting, but uh, uh, I, 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 I got two postgraduate degrees, and I attempted to, I did a PhD while I was in service. It took me eight years. But I did it because it was my will to, I wanted to do, find out something which was troubling me professionally. It was in my head. And all through this time, I served uh, in Kashmir twice. And in the end, when my guide sent a letter to me saying that if you don't submit your PhD thesis by so-and-so date, it's off. And you know what I did? I was that time a major general. I started my PhD as a colonel. Uh, I was that time commanding, I was a, a counterinsurgency force commander in South Kashmir. I had about 25,000 troops under my command. It was a hot area. But yet when I got that letter, of course I have one particular characteristic which comes from my father's lineage. I get up between 3 and 4 every day. But I go to sleep very early. So I used to get up and I had this beautiful uh, place where overlooking the way I could see the Pir Panjal Pass, oh, power, major power, this thing of the Kashmir Valley. I used to sit in my study. I had the PhD in my head, I had notes, but Likna Mene Shuru Nekiyana. Once I started writing, it took me six months, but I met the deadline. So there is nothing that you cannot do is what you have to tell yourself. It's a matter of will. There is nothing more stronger than any of you than the human spirit. Yesterday, I'm sure you would have heard uh, that lady, what's her name, Sunita? Sunita. Did, you, did, you, did you sense that spirit in her? I mean, did you sense it? I mean, it was a remarkable display of the human spirit, of dedication, of sincerity. And it is to herself she's being sincere, she wants to do good, but unless you're, you have the dedication and sincerity inside you, you can't. Each one of you are capable of it. Believe in it. Practice it. Life is not going to be simple. It's never a straight line. You guys will get married, not get married, will have di will be divorced, will have children, will have no children, will have dogs. That is your future. It is not going to change. So you can't imagine the future which you will be, I'm not trying to scare you, but the surprises which life brings to you, I could never have imagined that I'm going to be sitting here as a lieutenant general talking to you when I was a cadet, or even when I was a colonel or a brigadier, because in the army each rank is actually, you don't know. You don't know when you're going to retire, because you retire depending on your rank. So, what, I, what, what really should matter to you is, ask yourself questions, answer it yourself. Not from borrowed ideas, because the human being is mimetic by nature. They imitate. They learn by imitation, which is not a bad thing at all. 
But the fact is, you don't realize that that idea is because you believe in somebody, that person told you, but you must question everything yourself. Any of your teachers telling you something, the intellectual ability to question it is what is, gains the richness from it. Because there is nothing called the truth. That is a part of human imagination. Even you guys in science, theories will come, theories will go, it will be contradicted, new discoveries takes place, that's how life will go on. But in the end, the, he spoke about character, and so let me just finish where, where that finished. The most important and the most significant thing all of us have is conscience. It's conscience. It's a very powerful force, but if you have one, you have to cultivate it. If you're uncomfortable with something because you've done it, and even if you do anything wrong, it is better to admit rather than to hide it from yourself. I don't know what, how you handle the problem from the outside, but for yourself. Admit your mistakes, because our natural thing is the moment something happens, you blame somebody else. But in everything, there are always two hands to clap. So your ability is inside you. And you guys, they have, as you said, the system has picked the brightest minds. You should be proud. I'm sure you are. I would envy anybody who actually gets selected to the IIT because it is the most competitive exam. It also has the greatest of promises. But don't look outside too much. You look outside. My um, message to you is don't forget to look inside. Thank you. Our Commissioner Police, Bombay and Maharashtra, Shivanandan Ji, he is running a roti bank where thousands of people get a daily roti milti hai. Free of cost. He's running that. And now, we were at 7.30 o'clock in this Adivasi area. We were in the IIT of Khadakpur. How many Adivasi towns have been in the area? Some people have an idea. Let's go. 213 towns have been in the area of Adivasi towns. And we have neglected them from the IIT of the IIT of the IIT. निगलेक्ट किया, टोटली निगलेक्ट किया है। नाम के लिए लिपस्टिक वर्क कर दिया, थोड़ा बहुत जा करके एक गांव में छोटा मोटा कर दिया, एनएसएस के लड़के चले गए, कुछ कर दिया, लेकिन नहीं। अभी कम से कम कुछ महीनों पहले और जस्ट आपकी इनफॉरमेशन के लिए थोड़ा मैं भी अपना इंट्रोडक्शन दे दूं आप में से कितने लोग मुझे पहली बार मिल रहे हैं जरा हाथ खड़ा करें कुछ लोग पहली बार मिल रहे होंगे यस पहली बार फर्स्ट टाइम नो यू मेट मी पहले अच्छा गुड यार फाइन लोग मुझे अच्छा गुड सम पीपल आर मीटिंग फर्स्ट टाइम आई जॉइन आईटी खड़कपुर इन 74 पास आउट इन 79 इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स डिपार्टमेंट ओके एंड आई एम कनेक्टेड विद दिस आदिवासी क्षेत्र फ्रॉम 74 इटसेल्फ द ईयर आई जॉइन 79 पास आउट किया एंड आई वाज वन ऑफ द फ्यू रेयर आईएटीएन हु जॉइन इंडियन नेवी आफ्टर पासिंग आउट फ्रॉम हियर इंडियन नेवी जो बात हो रही थी तो मिलती जुलती सर ने जॉइन किया एनडीए और आर्मी में चले गए एज ए लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल रिटायर हुए आज भी वो ऑनलाइन वेबिनार कंडक्ट करते हैं पूरे वर्ल्ड के लिए पॉलिसी वेब डिफेंस स्टडीज एंड विच थर्ड एरिया सर स्टडीज एक स्टडीज आज भी लगे हुए हैं एंड मेनी पीपल ही हैज बीन ट्रेनिंग ऑल ओवर दी वर्ल्ड नॉट ओनली इंडिया सो ये ऐसे हमारे दो दिग्गज हैं ऑन द अदर हैंड मैं यहां से पास आउट करके आई डिसाइडेड टू ज्वाइन द इंडियन नेवी वो कैसे ज्वाइन की ये किया वो अलग स्टोरी है लंबी वो फिर कभी बताएंगे लेकिन फैक्ट इज आई वॉज इन द नेवी एंड आई वॉज अ कमिश्निंग क्रू आई एन एस विराट आई एन एस विराट का सभी लोगों ने नाम सुना होगा एंड आई टू के प्री मेच्योर रिटायरमेंट आफ्टर ट्वेंटी टू ईयर्स एंड नाइन मंथ्स और उसका कारण भी मेरे आई के दोस्त थे क्योंकि फौज के अंदर जब आप ज्वाइन कर लेते हो तो यू आर ए कदम ताल टाइप का कितना भी बढ़िया हो तो यू हैव टू फॉलो ऑल दो स्टेप्स एंड देन यू रीच दिस लेवल फ्रॉम यूर लेट से ही रिटायर्ड ही रिटायर्ड एज अ नंबर टू लेवल यू नो इसके बाद एक जनरल साहब थे बस चीफ ऑफ द आर्मी स्टाफ ही वेंट अप टू दैट लेवल और मैंने सोचा कि मेरे सारे आईटी के दोस्त को प्रेसिडेंट बना हुआ है किसी कंपनी का कोई वाइस प्रेसिडेंट बना हुआ है कनेक्ट था तो मैंने कहा यार मेरे को 22 साल तो हो ही गए हैं नेवी पेंशन देगी अभी तो लेट्स टेक ए प्री मेच्योर रिटायरमेंट सो आई टू प्री मेच्योर रिटायरमेंट टू जॉइन दीप कॉर्पोरेट वर्ल्ड माई फर्स्ट जॉब वॉज डीन ऑफ यूनिवर्सिटी जेपी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी नियर शिमला सोलन एंड नेक्स्ट विद इन फोर्टीन मंथस आई गॉट ए वेरी गुड ऑफर फ्रॉम सिस्को सिस्टम्स सिस्को की ऑफर आई कुंट से नो From all angles, it was too good. 
तो कॉलेज वाले बहुत कोशिश किए रोकने के लिए उस समय मैंने सर पी की तैयारी शुरू कर दी थी कि चल बेटा आप एजुकेशन में आ गए आप पी मैं भी कर लेता हूँ उसके पहले मैं एम कर चुका था यहीं से वापिस बाई दावे नेवी ने भेजा था और एम भी कर चुका था लेकिन अब मैंने सोचा एजुकेशन में आ गया तो लेट मी डू पीएचडी तो गाइड वाइड भी एफएमएस में सम ऑफ ऑलमोस्ट डिसाइडेड बट सिस्को ऑफर वाज सो गुड दैट आई जॉइन सिस्को आई वाज हेडिंग डिफेंस एंड ई गवर्नेंस फॉर इंडिया एंड सॉर्क रीजन चार साल रहा उसके बाद दो कंपनियों में रहा मैं एक के बाद एक एज ए प्रेजिडेंट और फिर टू के आसपास कहिए मैंने बोला नो मोर विद एनी आई स्टार्टेड बाई ओन कॉरपोरेट ट्रेनिंग्स आज आप जहां पर बैठे हुए हो ये पार्थोगोश एकेडमी ऑफ लीडरशिप है हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू आर कमिंग फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम हियर जस्ट रेज योर हैंड ओ ऑलमोस्ट हाफ ऑफ यू आर कमिंग फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम नाउ दिस पार्थोगोश एकेडमी ऑफ लीडरशिप आपने बाहर फोटो देखी होगी शायद पार्थोगोश जी की जिन्होंने वन मिलियन डॉलर दिए थे इस के लिए बनाने के लिए एंड ही सेवेंटी वन ग्रेजुएट और सेवेंटी सेवेंटी फोर नहीं यार अच्छा सेवेंटी फोर पास हो नहीं आई थिंक सेवेंटी है एनी anyway, जो भी है सेवेंटी जो सेवेंटी तो ही इज द मैन हु इज वेरी पैशनेट अबाउट द लीडरशिप क्वालिटीज नो लीडर कौन होता है मैं क्रक्स में बता देता हूं जो आपके सामने दिग्गज बैठे हुए हैं दे आर द रियल लीडर्स लेट मी टेल यू आईपीएस तो बहुत बन जाते हैं लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल भी बहुत बनते हैं और सैकड़ों की संख्या में है इस समय रिटायर्ड लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल इन्हीं दो को क्यों इन्वाइट किया गया यहां पर देर हेज टू बी सम रीजन लेट मी टेल यू एवरी लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल आर एन आईपीएस ऑफिसर डजेंट गेट इन्वाइट टू दीज आई टीज एवरीबडी डजेंट गेट लेट मी टेल यू सो देर हेज टू बी समथिंग स्पेशल so i say in my talks 5% people in this world make things happen usko yaad rakhiyega 5% people in this world make things happen 15% people watch things happening and 80% don't know what the hell is happening <laughs> unfortunately even in forces mein bhi us 80% ke thoda sa content ghus jata hai kaise bhi चाहे तुक्के के साथ कैसे भी हालांकि जो इन्होंने बोला कि यूपीएससी एब्सोल्युटली क्लीन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है वहां पर एकदम बड़ी अच्छी सिलेक्शन होती है एंड सो इज विद एस एस बी लेट मी टेल यू इन जगहों के ऊपर कोई गड़बड़ नहीं है एंड तीसरा इज द जेई एग्जामिनेशन यहां पर भी कोई गड़बड़ नहीं है सो डिस्पाइट सो मच ऑफ करप्शन इन दिस कंट्री एंड ऑल ओवर दर्ल्ड देर आर सम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हु बाई एंड लार्ज कंटिन्यू टू बी रिजनेबली गुड एंड दीज आर सम ऑफ देम जेई यूपीएस एस एस बी एटसेट्रा दैट इज द रीजन कि अभी भी हम लोग टिके हुए हैं और दुनिया में वी आर डूइंग क्वाइट वेल रीजनेबली वेल आई विल से आज अगर कहीं पर भी प्रॉब्लम होती है जैसे उन्होंने बोला कि आतंकवाद बॉम्बे में कैसे फैल चुका था गैंगस्टर्स के होते थे इन्होंने जाके कंट्रोल किया और जहां पर पुलिस भी कहीं पर अगर नाकामयाब होती है तो फिर आर्मी को भेजा जाता है चल बेटा तू तो करेगा ही करेगा अभी मणिपुर की जो प्रॉब्लम है पूरी की पूरी आर्मी के कंट्रोल में है एनो एवरी थिंग इज आप फाइन वहां पर मणिपुर लेट मी टेल यू वो छोटा मोटा एक आधा इंसिडेंट होता है Anyway, शाम को बात करेंगे ये लोग एक्सपर्ट हैं उस एरिया के दे विल टॉक अबाउट दैट कमिंग बैक टू वट आर सेइंग इज कि वंस यू पास आउट फ्रॉम दिस प्लेस स्काई इज द लिमिट फॉर यू वेदर बीटेक आर एम टेक आर पीएचडी व्हाट एवर यू कैन गेट इनटू एनी एरिया एंड दीज आर सम ऑफ द एरियाज वेयर यू हैव अ वेरी स्टेबल लाइफ देर इज नो डाउट अबाउट दैट प्राइवेट सेक्टर में संघर्ष है ठीक है तो जो संघर्ष का सामना करने के लिए तैयार है मैं तो कहता हूं ही शुड गो टू द प्राइवेट सेक्टर ओनली और जो चाहता है थोड़ी स्टेबल लाइफ मिल जाए और थोड़ी प्रेस्टेज भी मिले जितनी प्रेस्टेज इन एरियाज में है और कहीं पर प्रेस्टेज नहीं है लेट मी टेल यू आज भी गलती से अगर मैं कहीं पर रेड लाइट क्रॉस कर जाता हूं गलती से मैं यूज कर रहा हूं वर्ड क्योंकि मैं जानबूझ के नहीं करता तो अगर पुलिस वाला पकड़ता अरे यार मैं कमांडर जीत ली हूँ और सर आप ऐसा करेंगे तो फिर ठीक है सर जाइए सर तो आज भी लोग फौज की इज्जत करते हैं तो देर इज नो डाउट अबाउट दैट सो जो जिस फील्ड से ये है या मैं हूँ उसकी बहुत इज्जत है मार्केट में आप में से बीटेक वाले बहुत कम लोग हैं मुझे लगता है यहाँ पर बीटेक वाले कितने हैं एक दो तीन ही है बस सिर्फ बाकी सब एमटेक और पीएचडी वाले हैं तो एनी anyway, तो बीटेक के बाद भी अगर इफ यू डिसाइड टू ज्वाइन द फोर्सेस परफेक्टली फाइन लेट मी टेल यू आर द आई पी एस सर्विस अच्छा आर दी आई एस वट एवर इट इज इट्स गुड सो यू हैव दी अपॉर्चुनिटी टू सर्व योर नेशन यू हैव दी अपॉर्चुनिटी अब आप कितना सर्व करते हो वो आपके ऊपर डिपेंड करता है लेकिन जो करप्शन की बात चल रही थी इसके ऊपर मैं एक शब्द बोलना चाहूंगा जब भी जिंदगी में कभी भी दिमाग में आए कि मैं ये काम करूं या ना करूं क्या ये गलत है या गलत है या ठीक है उस समय एक चीज का ध्यान रखिए पहली बात तो क्या इससे मेरे देश को फायदा होगा या नहीं होगा अगर इससे देश का नुकसान हो रहा है तो ऑब्वियसली आई शुड नॉट बी डूइंग इट 
if my country is at the loss that is one aur dusra ab kai log itne selfish ho chuke hain country jaye bhaad mein society jaye bhaad mein unko sirf main 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 hi bacha hua unke liye aise logon ke liye main dusra bolta hu aapko ki agar aapko lage ki jo main kaam karne ja raha hu agar kal ko ye tv ke upar breaking news aa gayi या न्यूज़पेपर के फ्रंट पेज के ऊपर छप गया कि इन्होंने या इसने इसने ये काम किया है विल योर पेरेंट्स भी हैप्पी विल योर चिल्ड्रन भी हैप्पी विल योर टीचर्स भी हैप्पी इफ द आंसर इज यस जस्ट डू इट दैट मींस यू आर गोइंग टू डू अ गुड जॉब पर लगे नहीं यार मेरे मां बाप की नाक कट जाएगी मेरे बच्चों के भी वो स्कूल में मुंह दिखाने नहीं रहेंगे इसका पापा ने तो ये किया है दैट मींस द रॉन्ग जॉब डोंट डू इट दैट इज अ मेथड ऑफ रिमेनिंग ऑन द ऑनेस्ट पाथ और जो साहब ने बोला पैसे का लालच की तो कोई लिमिट ही नहीं है इस दुनिया में लेटमी टेल यू देर नो लिमिट जबकि वट वी ईट इज जस्ट रोटी दाल सिंपल दैट साल जो नॉन वेज चिकन खा लेगा और कितना खा लेगा आज फौज हमको इतनी पेंशन दे रही है मोर देन वन लाख रुपी लेटमी टेल यू सर की तो और भी वो ज्यादा होगी क्योंकि सर रिटायर्ड एज ए लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल आई रिटायर्ड एज ए कमांडर मोर देन वन लैख मैं और मेरी वाइफ वी कैन नॉट स्पेंड दैट मनी सो वाई डू आई नीड मोर मनी I don't need more money. Let me tell you. आज मेरे हाथ में एक बैंड बना हुआ है Youth for Nation. We created this organization two years back. We are roaming around all over India in colleges and universities and motivating the students. राष्ट्र सर्वोपरि, Nation first. That is the motto of this. And 90% of the places we spend our own money for travel also and for staying also. 90% places. 10% they do give definitely. Because I say I've got so much money, one lakh rupee cannot spend. I do not have that five-star culture. I am very happy with Haldi Ram and uh, Bikaner. Us level ke ham log bahut enjoy karte hain first class. So paise ki to koi limit hi nahi hai uske lalaj ki. To paise ke piche kabi mat bhago, bhago yes kisi lakshya ke liye, desh ke liye. You must dream, dream for your country, dream for society, dream for yourself also. Nothing wrong, perfectly fine. But then ek aisi zindagi jiyo ki log yaad rakhein yaar. मैं 1979 में पास आउट हुआ आईटी दिल्ली में एमटेक करना चाहता था आईटी कानपुर में करना चाहता था क्योंकि दिल्ली वाला रहता था मैं लेकिन आईटी टी खड़गपुर ने दोबारा बुलाया मुझे इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स डिपार्टमेंट का था प्रोफेसर महेंद्र सिंह वहां पे इंटरव्यू लेने आए हुए थे सर आई डेंट गिव इंटरव्यू फॉर खड़गपुर बाई दफे फॉर एम आई गिव इंटरव्यू फॉर दिल्ली एंड कानपुर थिंकिंग की मेरी शादी होने वाली है छह महीने में अब पिताजी माता के पास रहूंगा उधर दिल्ली में रहूंगा तो तो जैसे इंटरव्यू देकर वापस बाहर निकला तो इधर कमांडर कमांडर कह रहा हूं प्रोफेसर महेंद्र सिंह जी मेरे अपने डिपार्टमेंट के और ये जेतली तू क्या कर रहा है इधर मैं आई वाज सो क्लोज टू टीचर्स मैं सर वो एम टेक के लिए अरे चल खड़गपुर मैंने कहा सर भी शादी होने वाली है अरे छोड़ यार क्या शादी वहां पर तेरी वाइफ वहां भी इंजॉय करेगी डोंट वरी तो कैन यू इमेजिन उन दिनों प्रोफेसर का इतना दबदबा होता था वो जा रहे प्रोफेसर जब बैठे होंगे वहां पर इंटरव्यू के लिए तो मेरा नाम कानपुर वाले ने बोला या दिल्ली वाले ने बोला मुझे नहीं पता तो द मोमेंट माय नेम वाज अनाउंस ही सेड आई एम टेकिंग दिस बॉय बट दे सेड यू हैव नॉट इंटरव्यूड हिम तो प्रोफेसर महेंद्र सिंह का रिप्लाई था हे आई हैव इंटरव्यूड हिम फॉर फाइव इयर्स फाइव इयर्स आई इंटरव्यूड आई एम टेकिंग हिम यू टेक एनी फ्रॉम माई लिस्ट इन लू ऑफ हिम एनी आई एम रेडी टू गिव हिम बट आई एम टेकिंग दिस बॉय एन यू टोल मी आई एम गिविंग यू सेटेलाइट कम्युनिकेशन सो आई डिट सेटेलाइट कम्युनिकेशन हेयर तो जब आप किसी जगह पर अच्छा काम करके जाते हो लोग याद रखते हैं कुछ लोग पुराने बैठे हुए हैं जो मुझे उस टाइम से जानते हैं यहां पर दे कैन कोट द रीजन इज कि आज भी मैं यहां पर आता हूं तो लोग मेरे को खुले दिल के साथ दिल खोल करके स्वागत करते हैं फॉर सो मेनी इयर्स बिकॉज अगर आपका अपना सेल्फिश मोटिव कुछ नहीं है तो पीपल रिस्पेक्ट सेल्फिश मोटिव नहीं होना चाहिए यस yes. मैं कुछ उस सोसाइटी के लिए उस कॉलेज के लिए यूनिवर्सिटी के लिए उस आसपास के एरिया के लिए कुछ करना चाहता हूं अगर वो मादा है तो लोग आपके साथ खड़े हैं और आपकी जानकारी के लिए एक और बता दूं मैं चीज आईटी आई टी के 75 फाइव ईयर्स पूरे हो रहे हैं दो साल के बाद प्लेटिनम जुबली की तैयारियां चल रही हैं आई आई खड़गपुर एल्यूमनी फाउंडेशन हैज डिसाइडेड टू अडॉप्ट सेवेंटी फाइव ट्राइबल विलेजेस इन दिस एरिया ऑलरेडी चार या पांच लोगों का एक एक लाख रुपया आ भी चुका है तो दे विल अडॉप्ट दोज विलेजेस बाई डोनेटिंग वन लैख और पी पर विलेजेस देर इज अ चैप निर्मल अग्रवाल स्टेइंग इन कैलकटा ही इज इन चार्ज फॉर दिस ही हैज बीन मेड एज अ चैंपियन सो ऑलरेडी आई आई टी एन द एल्यूमनी हैव स्टार्टेड फीलिंग दैट वी शुड डू समथिंग फॉर दराउंडिंग एरियाज एंड वी आर डूइंग इट 
so i welcome you all that you get involved with this movement aap atul ojha ji se ya inse kisi se bhi sampark kar sakte hain jo log isme thode bahut involved hain jha ji baithe hain piche unki support le sakte ho so jahan bhi raho do it for the society meri to ye tamanna rehti hai log aapko zindagi bhar yaad karte hain jahan bhi raho and uh, navy se sir jab main retire ho raha tha retire in the sense ki premature retirement le raha tha तो फौज में आप रिजाइन नहीं कर सकते को सर को पता है फौज में यू पुट अप योर पेपर एंड रिक्वेस्ट दैट आई मे बी रिलीव्ड तो माय रिक्वेस्ट वाज रिजेक्टेड थ्री टाइम्स नॉट एक्सेप्टेड यू आर डूइंग दिस जॉब यू आर डूइंग दिस जॉब नो वी कॉन्ट रिलीव यू सेकंड टाइम रिजेक्टेड थर्ड टाइम रिजेक्टेड चौथी बार मैं गया यार जाने दो मुझे बाहर तो मैंने जाकर के लिटली हाथ जोड़े तो बोला चल यार इसको दो साल से हम लटका रहे हैं अब इसको जाने देते हैं एंड देन आई केम आउट the day i left second day i was having a job dean of a university that job 14 months ke baad chhoda not even a single day rest next day i was in cisco and 2009 say you can say i am on my own totally and i became a corporate trainer aur uske baad covid ke baad even corporate training ka bhi koi chaav nahi hai mere ko koi aati hai to main kar deta hu otherwise i don't go after that focus is now totally on college students university students कि इनके अंदर वो देशभक्ति की भावना पैदा करनी है नेशन फर्स्ट दर्ज माई मोटो थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू सर सो सर माय क्वेश्चन इज टू यू सर सो यू टॉक अबाउट दैट दिस इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ यूपीएससी इज मीन्स करप्शन फ्री इंस्टीट्यूशन दैट्स गुड एंड i would like to ask how much weightage do you give while selection the moral character because even after selection we see some bureaucrats this uh, we talk about this bureaucratic red tape so lal batti to chale gaye lekin rudwa nahi gaye to and we see in the covid time also in tripura there was an ips officer who did uh, means ruthlessly sabotage a wedding and lot of incident like that so how much See, in any service, as uh, General Menon mentioned, it has to come from within. The moral fabric has to be built inside your uh, thing. No institution in the world, anywhere, can measure what is your moral moral characteristic or what is your uh, uh, citadel, how strong it is. As he rightly said, in the beginning, all of us in the services, IAS, IPS, we wipe out the whole thing, go there. do this do that and all that established name and at what stage people turn corrupt we don't know correct so no army or no uh, any selection uh, process can gauge as to what is your moral behavior going to be in future or even on that given day if anybody is going to test me for moral superiority i can be the best mother teresa or anybody sardar patel uh, netaji subhash all rolled into one even your uh, this uh, um, uh, hey polygraph test where you, whether you are telling a lie or not can be faked you know that no so that way you can pass out any exam with flying color saying that i am the um, uh, embodiment of virtue and go and do all wrong things you mentioned about one person doing something in manipur all over the country they are doing the same given the power given the authority given the uh, protection you get whether armed forces special uh, power act or uh, police and the uh, ipc crpc and all that you got fantastic only the president of india can remove us so if that is the kind of protection and the authority they have given you you can do whatever you like so as he rightly said no upsc can find out who there are not i mean there no even even a small psychological test is not there in the ssb they have that they have a test to find out your psyche but in the upsc nothing like that a total pervert can be the best intelligent person and he can walk uh, and uh, get into the selection but then when things come opportunities come when money is flowing like water under your feet how much you bend and how much you do what like he said we need basic things the government gives you a car private i'm talking about whenever you want to buy or a house it's all guaranteed in mumbai we 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 government gives you a flat after retirement to stay 
you have to build it, you have to pay for it, uh, a minimum is different. But you are not, just because you are honest, doesn't mean that you are going to stand on the street and saying that where is the roof above my head. It does, it's not like that. Like he said, your pension is more than enough provided you don't drink blue label whiskey every day evening. It is 40,000 rupees a bottle. If you have cultivated royal habits, you know, like in, in IPS when, when we joined that time, I don't know now, they write instructions saying that don't bring your personal uh, horse driven carriage and uh, the liveried uh, uh, uniformed uh, servants from your house. They, that was the earlier princely families used to send their children for IP, ICS and all that. No? So, those instructions continued in 1976. I was looking which chariot to take it to National Police Academy. <laughs> so, to answer your question to all of you, it is for you to decide how you, I, I, I just read a book uh, 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 by um, uh, some, I think I forgot the author, but just last week I was reading, it is called Dethroned. It talks about Sardar Patel and VP Menon and how they brought, how they forced how they use the force, whatever it is, threatening this, that, Gan Lagaya, 558 princely uh, states were brought in to integrate in the country. What a book to read. I, I request all of And what kind of princely families and what kind of habits they had. You must read that book. It is called Dethroned, you know, by, on Sardar Patel and a fantastic book to read. So, if that is the kind of habits people had and even young poor people, for example, I can give you the example of Rakesh Junjunwala, 5,000 rupees investment and 50,000 crores he left. I hope you all know who is Rakesh Junjunwala. Or for that matter that Harshad Mehta, he sold his typewriter, he was working in the National Life Insurance Corporation and he sold his personal typewriter for 800 rupees, invested and built an empire. You have seen that movie called Scam in, uh, in uh, uh, OTT. OTT. Or for that matter, Telgi, he was a BCom graduate selling fruits, you know, uh, 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 in, uh, in a basket, uh, keeping it on his head in the railway, Belgaum, uh, railway plot. He printed the stamp papers worth 36,000 crores. Imagine, sky is the limit. So, this um, test, finding out this IG did, that IG did, this IAS officer did, all of them will do given a choice. But then, as he rightly said, what kind of a uh, sanskriti you have, what kind of a sanskar you, your father, the parents and the others are, as uh, Commander Jetli said, when you look back, how are you satisfied? Is your progeny proud about you? My children, when they go and tell, I am Shivanandan's daughter, how much respect they get, that is what one should worry about. You have seen that police commissioners in the newspaper, Sanjay Pandey getting arrested as soon as he left the job by ED. Is that what you want? Or for that matter, one more commissioner called Paramveer Singh. Then, what legacy we had? We had such the top most officers um, in Maharashtra were there. They were beacon lights for the whole country. Where from where we have reached? Is it because of you that we reached the nadir of reputation? Is it because of you that we reached the rock bottom? Are you contributing to that? If you think about that, then obviously you will be better. And whatever they said, I want to supplement. If you want to be the successful leader and a notch about the others, you should have a great vision about yourself. Abdul Kalam ona hai, ya Narendra Modi ona hai, kya ona hai? You have to have a vision. Then you have to have passion, complete 100% devotion to what you are doing. Then character, sterling character. Sab kuch jo samne dikta hai, pura apna hi hai, aisa samajh ke le jana. Is, if that is Indian character, then God save the country. Then the next is competence, which you are getting from IITs and various other things, growing. At the age of 72, I joined FinTech course in SP Jain College. I paid four and a half lakhs of rupees. Didn't understand much of it because all the technology which you people study. But I wanted to learn competence, grow, 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 grow. So that Ashutosh will not think that he is a dud, hai. retired man, he is a dud at me, I said. He said, Are, you know so much about technology. I said, Haan, I paid for it. So, <laughs> so, 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 vision, passion, then uh, uh, character, then competence, courage to call a spade a spade. The little bit of a push you get, you fall uh, head over heels, you fall down and crash. You don't have the courage to say, Abhai, ye to galat hai, main nahi karunga. 
I don't know if you have seen the video where a professor says, he tells a girl, get up and get out of my class. And then he is looking for a reaction. Nobody ever said, Why, what on earth gives you the power to throw her out of, my, out of this class? We also will go. No, he teaches the same. If this injustice is done to you, then if, if, if this injustice is done to others and you keep quiet, it can happen to you also tomorrow. If democracy is slipping out of our feet, below our feet, and you don't do anything about it, we will all be slaves tomorrow. So that is uh, again coming back vision, passion, a character, courage, competence, self-image. Are you beyond IIT Karakpur? Last time when I come, I come here, there was a boy accompanying me. He is from Rajasthan. I asked him, what would you like to become? He says, I want to become Sundar Pichai. Nothing less. I wish he had gone to USA and he is trying to become Sundar Pichai. But then I asked him, what is uh, your father doing? He says, he is a tailor in Rajasthan. Proud of him. Vision he had. Passion he had. He joined IIT Karakpur. Aur kya chahiye? Whatever he does, I am sure he is going to do that. So, the self-image ho gaya. The last but not the least is the discipline which the uniform forces would have. But even you could have much better discipline than any uniform forces. It's just doing salute and calling you sir, sir, sir is not discipline. It is much beyond that. Discipline is much beyond that. So that way, if you want to do anything, I am answering your question. You have to have vision, passion, courage, character, competence, self-image and discipline. You can't measure it when you are giving an IPS exam or IAS, IFS exam. It's all the same, only one exam only. Nobody can ever find out. Even when you are wired, they are doing polygraph tests by giving you slap on the cheek. You can tell a lie and get out of that. You don't get caught. You know? So, that is it. Have I answered your question? Okay. Can I just for a moment, uh, let me just, uh, you know, uh, you guys are going to swim against the tide because the larger framework of the social and cultural atmosphere is not something which belongs to the ideal world, which is amenable to easy confrontation between you and it. There is a constant friction which you will have to confront. I will give you, when I joined the army, when I was a commissioned officer as a second lieutenant, my pay used to be 350 bucks. Believe me, I never felt the shortage of money. We used to drink rum, I used to smoke Panama cigarettes. When we ran out of there in the unit, we had something called the banya, which is a little and mess bill used to be paid. We never felt shortage because we were all similar. Then things started changing when the consumer culture actually seeped into Indian society. When the cars came in, when big houses and big furniture and big fridges and all the consumer durables came into society and life, comparisons started happening. Everybody wanted a better car than the neighbor. And now society's economic framework and is driven by the power of what Manmohan Singh said, loosening the beasts of desire. That is why how the whole economic system works. So if you want to live in that society, you and you want to maintain your values, you have to swim against the tide. It's not going to be easy. It's okay to say and talk, but in the real world, things are different. Because firstly, you are not the only one. Your value systems will also be by your peers, then you will get married, then you will have wife, then you will have husbands, then you will have new neighbors. It's comparison. So the question is, how do you actually deal with that? And that is not something which is amenable. You have to answer that question yourself. And if you think that any, there is a only honest people in this world, and if you think I'm a completely honest people, I will be a hypocrite to tell you so. Because we have to deal with the honest world. You look at probably the larger purpose. You know, uh, we train our men, I am trained, because the core competence of the military itself is to kill, to destroy. That's our core competence. It's not easy to train people to do that. It's not easy at all. But you do it because there is a larger purpose in mind. So the one thing which I think you should always 
keep in mind is what the, what is the larger person? What have, why am I doing this? What is my larger purpose? If you can actually spot that, maybe your perspective will clear. And one more point. See, we are going to enter wherever you go, you go into the civil services, you go into the corporate world. The organizational culture which prevails is one of actually having the beasts of desire let loose. You cannot get away from it. If you think that everybody else will buy so many things and have so many things and have so much of money and you will be the only one saying, no, 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 I am an honest chap, Mariko. I don't need anything. In the real world, it's impossible to be like that because you are human like everybody else. It is natural. That is why I'm saying that you'll have to swim against the tide. So when you become a leader, the thing, and that's, a, that's come, this has come from the military, one of the things that the military values, although in practice it might be different, is the power of example. That the leader is ex expected to set the power of example. You cannot be a leader without actually setting that power of example. And it doesn't, it's not only for the military, it's for everybody else. Because if you're in an organization, you might try to hide what you are, but let me tell you, eventually that organization knows you better than what you know. You won't believe it. It's like a unit, you know. The men in the unit will, you, 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 because you do so many things with them, they know you. You cannot fool them. You just cannot. You think you're fooling them, but you cannot. But that is a more, the, the behavioral change of a, a, a corporate or even an organizational entity which can bring about by a leader who sets it, a powerful force, it cannot be measured. It can only be felt. But without that power of example, don't expect to succeed. So that's, I think, the leadership lesson you can probably take. I will just, I will just add one sentence to whatever Sarah said. Indian Military Academy, Dehradun. There is a Chatwood House. There is a statement written there. The honor, dignity, and welfare of your country comes first, always, and every time. Next line is, the dignity, honor, and welfare of your men whom you command comes next. And the dignity, honor, and welfare of yourself comes last and every time. That's written there. And those are the values which are grained in the young officers of the Indian Army. That is why when the Kargil war happens, they are the first one to lead them from the front. And the ratio of officers laying their lives for the nation, the ratio I'm using the word, is maximum in the Indian Army compared to any other country. Am I right, sir? Please. Uh, sir, Mera, koi bhi ek a public servant hai. Whether it is a military officers or IPS, IAS, three stages. First, my question is on the aspirant level. Pe. What your uh, takeaways about the mindset which are driving this coaching industry in every field, including UPSC also. Mukherjee Nagar is the best example. Second one is for the freshers in the department, IPS freshers or IAS freshers. A common हम statement सुनते हैं अरे यार system ऐसा है ना हमको system ने ऐसा बना दिया है हम बनना नहीं चाहते third है as a policy maker as a ultimate head of the institutions DGP and in army general what your take away regarding the policy regarding the updation of the last level institutions of policing or military especially policing uh, systems like Thana in the technological world because the world has changed from uh, 50 years ago to now it, it's become technological more and crime nature is also changed. So on these three aspects I need your takeaways and opinions. See the last question is what I have understood then you tell me the first two that is technology use of technology. Yeah, it is, uh, see this cyber uh, uh, matter, whether it is cyber crime or usage of cyber capability is like a storm. It is engulfing the whole world. Like it or not, uh, people are all taking to gadgets. Miniaturization is happening. For example, this kind of a gadget, I have not uh, been using it. Now it has come. Everything is mini getting miniaturized. So the police and the government is also doing a lot to bring in this kind of systems, you know. 
a uh, lot of iits and others are all doing research as to how like we work with the iit mumbai bombay iit bombay so bringing lot of uh, things for us like uh, when i joined the service the my the police computer was as big as this room the last is usage of uh, uh, science and technology in the police department is that what i am as a dgp huh. or head of the police department huh. what's your take away as a for the improvement necessary improvement in the thana level it's a continuous process it's happening it is not happened to the level which uh, people would appreciate but it is happening we have got 17000 police stations in the country and they are all getting upgraded and um, if the government is not doing it by the private initiative they are all getting upgraded even the technology computers and various other things are also people are contributing and it is coming and the dgps are doing it the government ultimately if we send a proposal for buying let us say a laptop for a police station uh, we have to buy 17000 of them ccnts means mr chidambaram introduced it's 5000 crores by the time they implemented the entire system got outmoded uh, 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 you know so that way it's a continuous process it is going on we cannot uh, keep pace with the science and technology development and make the police as good as new york or uh, los angeles or uh, chicago police but they are doing their best but then body cam now if we talk about we are a million people police in maharashtra i uh, the 2 and 1/2 lakhs of policemen were reporting to me if i am going to give body cam to them uh, then we have to buy 2 and 1/2 lakhs then repair maintenance so the government is looking at you as a department which is only spending money we are not earning revenue i hope besides this uh, um, that uh, when he violated the red signal we should have charged him and earned money for the government we says commander jetli i said go so the chance of earning money for the government is left to the discretion of the people otherwise the nothing everything is free so it is not like customs or income tax or gst let lakhs of crores we are earning so thoda sa leke 1% isme dal de development mein ye hota nahi hai we are doing free service or we are supposed to do free service correct so that is the relationship with the uh, science and technology development in the police and what the dgp dgps are looking at it they are going abroad command course bol ke jate hain uk usa and all that then they bring whatever they can bring they try to do but ultimately in the bureaucracy believe if anyone is going to join the ias जैसे अगर पुलिस को इतना देना है बाकी डिपार्टमेंट्स को इतना देना है सो मल्टीप्लाई 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 एंड प्रोजेक्ट टू द गवर्नमेंट से जस्ट अ पुलिस मैन गेटिंग हंड्रेड रुपीज इंक्रीमेंट टू ऑल अदर इक्वल वी हैव टू गिव दिस लेट अस से थ्री थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड क्रोर्स बजट आ जाएगा गवर्नमेंट विल से नो यार इतना तो हमारे पास नहीं है रुको चार साल पड़ा रहता है वो the our approach in policy making is the sector sectoral approach rather than the holistic approach for a objective oriented i believe I, you want to say that thing because uh, objectives some objectives may involvement of our different departments so it doesn't require ki hum sabko alag alag se deal kare rather than we have to take a integrated holistic approach in policy making and in allocation of the budget i think you are pointing out that things also no no the first the first which you mentioned just now each department is characteristically independent of each other like irrigation department and police cannot be compared so their requirement and their budget and all is separate but when it comes to pay parity all people coming under certain band have to be given the same amount so there is a separation of the uh, uh, color of each department but at the same time there is a certain uh, some uh, same sameness also sala for example car if an ips officer of a certain level is given a let us say a maruti uh, i mean uh, honda city then all equivalent officers in the ias uh, customs income tax all of them will be asking for that like as commissioner of police mumbai if i have a impala car that earlier they used to have or now whatever uh, top class car i have no it's not done then 17 or 30 Uh, additional chief secretaries would also require the same type of car so the government says ye to nahi hoga jo sabke liye ek hi hota hai wo to nahi hota hai maruti ho siaz so that is it for all of them so there is a certain kind of a same thing at the same time irrigation department and we can't compare for example customs income tax police can't be compared na? like defense what do they uh, give you in return but then they, they, they are spending 
billions of dollars in buying and uh, uh, equipping the you see what's happening in israel yesterday onwards you can't say why you are spending so much money on defense there see what bombarding takes place so like that there is a certain commonness at the same time there is a lot of difference also